Hey, what's going on guys, Superstorm here, and welcome back to Perceptions of the Dead. Now, I know I haven't, like, there was, like, this huge gap of me, like, just going, I don't know, off the grid or something like that. Uh, there was just a lot of things going on in real life, uh, a lot of school work, like, that needed to be done and all that. You, you guys probably, uh, know what I'm, what I'm saying, but we did this, we did Jill Count last time, we played it all the way through, and we're gonna do the same thing for the Phantom Ice Cream Truck. I don't know how this is gonna go, like, there's, and of course, like, what we found out last time, that Raven is apparently a really large, um, what is it, Raven Demon, <laughs> apparently, like, I mean, Raven from Teen Titans should have told us that this was gonna go bad, uh, but no, no hate on Teen Titans, by the way, uh, just, just should have, just should have seen that coming, but if you guys have any other suggestions, let me know down in the comments. I'm always very much, like, as always, it is very much appreciated to hear you, to hear your feedback. And, uh, and in the description of this video is, first off, the last video. And, uh, what is it, the, the straw poll that I leave in most of my recent videos. Uh, like, for your guys' For another version of your guys' input, it's completely anonymous if that makes the difference. Uh, so I don't even know who put what. So I don't, I don't know. So let, let's just get into this phantom ice cream truck. Follow a dense, and I'm gonna play this part like through its entirety, regardless of how long the video is gonna be. Uh, the phantom ice cream truck. Follow a Den Denzian, Denizen of the border between life and death as he answers a call to rescue a missing child now i don't know if jill is going to be in this one too uh but we're about to find out let's see what we got here the phantom ice cream truck this sounds like a goosebumps title a glance around reveals oh. an empty street and i take a moment of solitude to adjust my layers it does a little to stave off the biting wind uh who is this who is... I clench and unclench my fingers with a deep-rooted ire. I am not being paid well enough for Acolyte? this shit. Acolyte? Then again, I never am. This Who... was the second night since I had started this assignment. The couple had hired me to bring back their son. They hadn't been so comfortable with the way the official investigation was turning up so very little, and how much the media had begun to spin the tale into a ghost story. Who are you? The Phantom Ice Cream Truck. What Wait. a mouthful. A messy case, too. Yeah, it sounds like a mouthful. The police's initial involvement had been straightforward. The first child had fell off the map like curtain swallowed in blue. Right off the street, according to witnesses. No one saw a thing. No reliable witness heard anything, either. Well, that sucks. No unfamiliar cars or people. No unfamiliar sounds. One moment he was in front of his parents' home, the next, he was gone. Strange, but there could be plenty of explanations for such an incident. Very mundane ones. the music down just a little bit so I can actually hear what he's saying. Uh, let, let's go back to this. Such okay. explanations became more unlikely when every child in the neighborhood reported hearing ice cream truck music right around the time of the disappearance. Of course, without a single adult able to corroborate this mysterious music, the children's testimony was quickly dismissed. Still creepy, right? A little bit, and I oh guess. oh, so mysterious. Oh, so Even more mysterious. so when it happened again. <laughs> okay. Then a third time. It was the third parents who hired me. Oh. I never really figured out oh. how my clients find me. It's not like I list my number anywhere. Are you advertise. playing as like a detective or something? But somehow word of mouth leads to my phone ringing and a familiar phrase to indicate it's for business. Ya, ya, fatan. I seek a pact with that which should not be. What? I know, what was it's that? a little trippy. It's from a book I had read back in college. What kind of books you'd be reading back in college? A what friend was came that? Up with the joke as his invocation of my age. Sounds like a. He must have used it oh. dozens of times when we were younger, typically for a ride when he had been out drinking. But yeah, that sounded like a, like a demon chance or something. I had become like that. so Demonic used to it chance. that when I first answered the phone and heard an unfamiliar voice say the phrase, I just kind of went with it. The next time it was the same, and then it became common. Where are you? We live in Rosterfield, Maine. I okay. know it's a long way from where I heard about you, but can you help us? Sure. Will you pay the price? 
We will pay anything if you can bring back our son. Oh, so, like, because of this phantom ice cream truck, these, these, like, children are going missing? The is what I'm getting from? Struck. And with that, I called in sick to work. Told them I had the flu and would need a few days off. I was giving shit about not getting my flu shot, but they didn't hassle me too much. That evening, I was on a plane. Alright. Okay, so we are apparently a detective I trying to find some missing children. I arrived at the house at midnight. Oh, that's late. I did not knock. After all, it was important to keep up appearances. Right. The window to the left was latched, but the right slid up easily. Wait, you're just I going to this person's house? And gave it a once over. Legos, Ben 10 toys, and Star Wars paraphernalia. <laughs> Who remembers Ben 10? Floors and walls. <laughs> a quick once over revealed nothing useful, though. Yeah, I mean, I, I remember Ben 10 being really popular, like, I don't know, like, what, five, seven years ago? I sat on the foot of know. the bed for almost 10 minutes before one of them stirred. Oh my what? god! Like, that that's what you get, like, for, <gasps> for one, for you, leaving your, your window unlocked, and for the guy we're playing as, why are you trying to break into this people's house? Normal reaction. I turn around slowly. I return for what has been lost. From you, I need two items. I need a photo and an article of clothing. Something thick with his smell. Ugh, that's, that's not... Well, you... That's what dogs are... That's what tracking dogs are for. <laughs> like, r really? The woman stands don't up slowly. Don't make it sound so the creepy. Wall, then runs to the child's room. She returns with a dirty soccer jersey and a copy of a lost flyer. Ugh. Oh, the father remains gross. paralyzed. His oh, eyes I... locked with mine. Though likely, he is just staring into the shadow beneath my hood. Hoping to see something there. Something human. Likely questioning his decision to hire me. Can you really find him? Probably. I don't know. I take oh. a long smell of the shirt. Hi. The <laughs> I take a look at the photo. This time, I spend a lot longer examining it. Man, this... This, this child's face just startled the crap out of me. <laughs> I wasn't really some bloodhound. I Big couldn't eyes. Track my scent, but the photo helped a lot. Now I knew what he looked like. Yes. She begins to breathe heavily, and then cries. Are the acolyte? The husband just continues Thinking, to stare at me the hood of my cloak. With that, I begin to walk out. Behind me, I hear the father speak. What did we just send after our son? Uh, hopefully not a murderer. That That is ideal. The first night had been uneventful. I had turned over the results of the police investigation and found myself wanting. Wanting what? Oh, anything resembling a lead. Did these people get paid to do this shit? I certainly yeah, didn't I buy the so. superstitious who were already spreading stories about the ghostly ice cream truck. I mean, when it comes to ice cream trucks, you're like, you know, it's probably... I'm if a ghost were it. going to come back, it's very <laughs> unlikely they would be scooting around in an ice cream truck. Talking to children had been painfully hard. My one fortune was that my attire left me more reminiscent of a slender man than a child molester. So the times I was chased away from children I tried to interview were not mistaken for solicitation. Yeah, it's probably some kind of some kind of child creeper. Thought. Like a real like a middle-aged adult like creeping the on children. The children provided my first real clue. They described a tune, one that sounded like the type and consistency that an ice cream truck might have. Not that ice cream trucks were common these days. I was a little surprised these kids even knew what one was. Yeah, it's, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. it's probably a pedophile. Some were even able to hum and whistle. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. What? Wait, what, what was that? Did you just hear a little girl? I wasn't entirely sure how to run with this info. Or was that just the me? The relevance of a single song really didn't occur to me. Also, if you don't want like me uh, talking over it, the link is down in the description to play it. It's free on Steam. A small piece of the rest of the day was spent feeding myself and taking a nap as inconspicuously as possible. I had the no life. intention of allowing <laughs> anyone to see me be anything other than the creepy supernatural paranormal investigator. Oh, so we are a kind things. of investigate, kind of detective. You'll be okay. surprised how quickly you can build a rep with the right look and behavior. After the nap, it was back to beating the streets. And my current predicament. It was friggin' cold! Where are you right now? In the near distance, I watched a quartet of kids, roughly 14 or so, playing a ragged game of football. As they seem to be having a great do. time, <laughs> but even as far away as I am, their cheers and jeers rattle my nerves. Well, either that or just 
inside. For a moment, I wish they would be video quiet. Games like I do. As though hearing my thoughts mid-run, they stop on cue. They stand up oh. straight and begin to draw heavy, ragged breaths. Okay. A girl hugs the football to her chest as her eyes grow ever wider. Uh -oh. I test reality for a moment. Wait, what? I wish I had a few thousand bitcoins. It occurs to me that I should Bitcoins have asked for something though. more easily checked. At the same time, it occurs to me that I didn't silence those kids. Oh. I bite my tongue, close my eyes, and oh, bury God. the nail of my thumb into the palm of my hand. Oh. I Ow. dig in as hard as I can, drawing blood as my what vision is, what is this? with the colors behind my eyelids. And then, I hear it. What? This looks like a really trippy screensaver. What is this? A song this? playing on a pair of shitty speakers. The kind you'd hear on top of oh. the old-timey ice cream truck. Did we, did we find the phantom My ice cream truck? My eyes flick open as I scan the horizon. Whoa, what is this? Art style change. Whoa, the hi. The passes me, inches from clipping my shoulder, and heading straight towards the kids. Oh, God. No, you fucking don't! I break into a run, and despite the trivial speed of the truck, barely manage to keep up. Wow, that's kind of impressive when it comes to a truck. As the truck closes on the kids, it slows to a stop, and I finally begin to close the gap. Run on home, you kids. It's getting dark. This town isn't safe after dark. Getting dark? What is he talking about? The sun set hours ago. Yeah, that is that is pretty weird. Looking at it now, it's it's definitely night. No sooner right had now. the words crossed my mind when it all went black. For a few moments, I thought I had been knocked unconscious. Then my eyes began to adjust. I make out the faintest impression of light. Where, oh, where no. are we right oh, now? Oh no, this isn't good. You kids better get in. I'll get you home safe. Oh god, that's that's something a pedophile would say. <laughs> oh god. I watch helplessly moving through the dark like it was oh, molasses. No. Shadows pass before the light as he ushers them into the truck. Either a pedophile or a cult. The truck lights blare. Either way, it's brilliance. disturbing. And I hear the motor roar as the car begins to move forward at a pace more in keeping with the motor vehicle. I would lose it, even if I were still able to move. No! No! Wait, did he like- I let out a choked cry oh. after them. Stop! Stop! Then I stop. The second cry had no depth to its volume. While the no had echoed normally down the empty street, the scream of stop had sounded like I screamed into the middle of a very crowded room. Slowly I reached behind me, laying hands on one of my pieces of emergency equipment. The kind of stuff you don't use when you want people to think you're some manner of elder horror. I slowly bring it around, just as I feel the breath on my neck. Oh god. With a whip, Ow. a flare. Seeing it burn red hot through my clenched eyes, and I hear the cacophony of screams, I open them. Ow. Thousands of twisted oh, malformed demi-human flesh writhe in the light. Oh, as what? I raise it above my head, the flare burns brighter. Ugh. What was that scream? The darkness washes away. Ugh. I wheel around in Wait, place, what? but find myself alone back in the street. What was that? In the middle of the day. I drop the flare and try futilely to snuff it out with my boot. My little display is drawn in audience, and not so far down the street, I see my clients. Hmm. Oh, fuck. Okay, well that happened. What... Again, what was that? So uh, it's oh, ghosts. Hi. I merely nod slowly. Oh, I just saw her blink. But you can still oh. get him back? Oh, I just noticed that you know, I nod they, again. they were actually blinking. But it's been over a week since you started searching. He hasn't eaten it's been anything. A week. He hasn't eaten anything. I still couldn't Ooh. wrap my mind around how much time it passed in the darkness. He will be fine. Time does not pass normally where he is. You know where he is? I nod. I'm going there tonight to get him back. They start crying. I'm not really sure what to do at this point, so I stand there, awkwardly, hoping that my layers give me more of the appearance of stoicism than an awkward penguin. Apparently it works. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I leave the building as they both chant, thank you, like it was some kind of prayer. So we're going to wear like this fan, this ice cream truck, like a storing kids. It's pro, it's probably a cult now. Like from looking at it. Uh, so we're trying to rescue these children from a cult. 
It's not the first time I'd. Oh, uh, this is prayer. going to be most likely disturbing. It's not the first time I had done this. And, and I like the old transition screen. I'm ready it's this not time. Really this night one falls. That much. I withdraw a small shot and, without hesitation, jam it into my arm. Wait, what? Small shot. Small Viper shot of venom. what? <laughs> I had a friend back home who kept one as a pet. Weird kid. Milks the things. Oh. Sells the venom, mostly to medical facilities. Occasionally, he sells it to me. Viper venom? My knees nearly buckle as the burning begins to creep through my arm. I Why stifle you... a scream. Why would you put, ve like, viper venom in your arm on purpose? Then I hear it, and everything clicks. Oh. I let out a long sigh and stand up, I... adjusting my layers. Oh. I, again, I, I turn my truck. eyes to fall upon the approaching truck. My hand goes behind my back and my fingers close. I train the gun on oh. the truck and unload a triad oh. of shots into the ghost truck's engine. Yeah, there we go. The All engine right. sputters, the grating burns, melting away, and the music screams in protest. There we what? go. What do you think you're doing? Putting a stop to- An escapee to... from an Andy Warhol painting Hi. stutters, stepping awkwardly from the vehicle. You seem awfully- what? Okay, I was just about to say, you seem awfully calm for someone just shooting out your engine of your- Cult ice cream truck. It's getting dark. I have to protect the children. That's not your business. Only really. one thing may not exist. You and that which you fear must cease to be. But the children. The darkness falls upon me with such force I stagger. I lose my grip and the gun disappears, searing into the shifting mass of flesh. My hand goes behind my back and my grip closes around a rough hewn blade forged of obsidian and steel. Hmm. As I call okay, outwards, I hear oh, the screams of all the lost children, unwilling to accept their fate. And oh, jeez. Oh, God, Flesh that, that one call, scream. Burning away like paper, until finally, I lay into the man. No, you don't understand. I was just trying to help. I bury the blade into his throat. Oh. The cacophony resounds as the children who lost themselves in the darkness writhe, and I go about my work of freeing them all, just as I had freed this man. Really, though? Like, well, what's even going on? My baby. Oh, my baby. It's okay. Everyone's okay. Do we get the children back? No, not everyone. Oh. They're all dead. Everyone. Everyone died. Who? Seven kids lost here. And I got back all of them. I wonder how many huh? I actually freed. But... But he just said that all of them died, yet the narrator is saying that we got them all back? How many that doesn't make any sense. This nightmare? And what the hell was he so afraid of in that darkness? And most importantly, why did he ultimately abandon them to it? I don't know oh, how to I... thank you. After a week of not hearing from you, I'd feared for the worst a month after that, and I'd come to accept that it was over. I was ready to move on. How long were we searching for these children? His eyes fall to his wife, still babying the boy, who won't stop staring off into the distance. She had faith, though. She said that you were an angel, or maybe a demon. She didn't care. She believed in you. Some nights after she had said her Hail Marys, I would see her put her hands together, and I would hear her. She prayed to you. I was almost flattered, but to tell the truth, the idea of someone believing so much in me, in praying to me, it was terrifying. I want you to know, I'm willing to pay more than whatever your normal fee is. We've been living with a tight belt since I called you, and I won't lie and say I don't do well for myself. I have more than enough saved up to pay you anything we could ask. Or, if there's something else you want, there's nothing I can offer you that means more to me than my son. I let out a long sigh. I reach up to my hood and pull it back. Both of them gasp, stepping back, and then cocking eyebrows in unison, having perhaps expected something more. After having been Whoa. gone for two months, I okay. could really use a job. Is that me? Might be me. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm still confused. Wait, is that it? That was it. I I was really confused. I thought there was gonna I thought it was gonna be like as well made as this one. 
Unless this is where, like, they both meet? And something like that? And this was just the background story of, like, the other... Like, some other character? I don't know what... I was real. So, we were a detective that worked and was called on a case of, like, this phantom ice cream truck, like, the name implies. And, like, we... Like, we spent, like, God knows how long, because he's... I was talking about, like, weeks and months going by. Well, a week and a month, but... Like, something like that. And... Like, we found the children of this... Of this, like, demonic... Like, this demonic driver of the ice cream truck. But the thing is, like, I'm... I'm still a little bit confused. Like, the boys said they everyone died, but... The person that we're playing as says that, uh, that we're, uh, what? That, um, what was it? That we got them all back. Like, I am, what? Okay, then, well, I guess that's gonna be the end of this one. I expected this to be, like, an hour or something, so, uh, well, yeah, so, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to that like button down below. And, and again, if you have any other suggestions, let me know down in the comments, or uh, refer to the straw poll link down in the description. And, uh, and also, don't forget to turn on notifications so you know when I get videos up. And with that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.